Coming up next is the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division matchup. So here she is, Pate Estaca, Jessica Andrade. It was pretty amazing to see her put a capstone on this UFC career and beat Rose Namajunas to win the title at UFC 237. She's a real problem here at 115 pounds. She's a real problem, John. And she became a problem when she went down to 115. You saw immediately that the power and the cardio and the pressure and the ability to hurt people in a division where most fighters aren't knocking them out with one punch was possessed by Jessica Andrade. And being in Rio and watching her win that title, you truly felt the enormity of the moment as Andrade got her hand raised and the belt wrapped around her waist. Yeah, she won four fights in the UFC at 135 pounds before moving down. No woman in UFC history has won as many fights as Jessica Andrade. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meeting, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Jessica Batistaca Andrade. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making a professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Body out of Atlanta, Georgia, ferocious. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Here we go with round one. Most people are not expectant of a grappler's delight tonight. These women can strike, and that's the type of fight they're expecting. A lot of times people believe when you put two strikers together, they end up wrestling. But these two women have told us, don't even think about calling any grappling. Tonight you watch a kickboxing match inside of the octagon, so be prepared. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the... All right, so she finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort earlier on, but cleaned up the technique a little bit, and now we'll see what she can do. She cleaned it up. She really did take her time back. She took a step back. She evaluated what's my best course of action. Figured it out, got it done. Now, how does she handle being on top with dominant top position? Good exchange there inside. Well, she's already landed several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you gotta like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on. It's unbelievable. The variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches, different takedowns to really, really confuse her opponent. All right, she's going for the arm bar here. Stay in 
busy. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jessica Andrade. Just out of the range with that right hand. They're probably the best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Well, you saw us reference that reach advantage off the top, and she certainly made good use of it there in landing that punch. Seconds to go. Oh, you know about her kick. She's got him going tonight. There's a takedown attempt by her there. Not a great entry. What does the Olympian have to say? And look there. Beautiful straight punch. And now her opponent's going around the way. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom! There goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually, she will find that moment. does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great time to land that punch. It won't take many of those. Left hand punch in the clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land. Oh, beautiful job by her there. She gets the takedown. You knew exactly what you were in store for. It was up to you to stop it, and you didn't get the job done. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job getting the knee. Oh! She can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, big left! Oh, man, he's a hard. fight for her here tonight and just the way she drew it up she had her focus on the knockout and that's exactly the way this fight ends i'm not even sure the opponent saw the shot coming they oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate and that certainly spelled her fate here tonight well that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time what a moment for this fighter here tonight Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hiroshi! Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard-pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out